Welcome to this QuickBooks 2020 new features video on setting up automated payment reminders. Uh, now this is a feature in QuickBooks 2020 that I like a lot because this is going to allow you to set up uh, somewhat automated, I'll get into that in a minute, but automated payment reminders to your customers. Okay, and there's a couple important steps you want to follow when you uh, you know, you set these up and I wanted to walk through those so that you could uh, see these and understand them. Okay. So here we are on the home screen and what we're going to do, we're going to go to customers and you'll see there's a payment reminders uh, option here. Okay. So the first thing that you want to do in this, uh, when you get here is you want to say manage mailing list. All right. So we need to set up a mailing list and who we want to include on the mailing list. Okay, now this is an important step because if you set up multiple lists, uh, it appears that you can't include uh, the same customer on multiple lists. Okay, so, you know, what seems to make sense here is you set up a new list and we're going to call this, um, call it something general, reminders list, or let's say, payment reminders list. Okay. And you can put in a description, but you know, you don't have to here. So let's click next. Okay. Now, and the reason I say you want to set up a general list is we say, okay, I want to include all customers. Okay. So if I had a different list and then I created a second list and tried to include everyone on both of them, it's going to tell me that, uh, you know, you, you, you have, uh, one customer on two different lists. Do you want to, you know, basically pull them into the new list? Okay. So, so this will make more sense when I get into saying, okay, create a general list here, include all your customers and hit save. Okay. So we have a payment reminders list. All right. So once you create that, you're going to hit close. All right. Then we're going to go back up to customers, payment reminders, and now you have to schedule payment reminders. Okay. So you'll get this screen here. You're going to click on get started. All right. So now you need to create a schedule. Okay. So this is a new schedule. You can change the name of this. We're going to call this a late payment. All right. So we hit okay. Send reminder to, you're going to select the mailing list, payment reminders list, and then you're going to add a reminder. Okay. Send this reminder one day after the due date. Okay. And then what you can do is you're going to look at this, uh, you know, the, the email here, the template. And if you want to change something, if you want to change the language, uh, to be specific to you or to your business, that's, that's fine. You're going to do that right here. So we're going to say, click. Okay. All right. So now it's going to, uh, send a reminder to a, uh, uh, to the payment reminders list, which is all customers when they are one day after the due date. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I want to create another schedule because what I like to do is we're going to call this one five days before. Okay. Click. Okay. So now in this one, we want to send a reminder. This is just good practice five days before the due date to remind them that, Hey, this is going to be due. Okay. So we're going to select the mailing list payment reminders list. We're going to add a reminder, send this reminder, five days before the due date. Okay. So what should the email say? Reminder invoice, just a reminder that we haven't received a payment for your invoice. So again, you can change the language of this, but so in this case, I want to, I want to send a reminder to all my customers when they have an invoice that is due five days before the invoice is due. Okay. So I'm going to click. Okay. And I want to do it when they have a late payment. So they're one day after the due date. Okay. Now, you can set up another reminder for a late payment. So send this reminder five days after the due date. And again, you can change the language to be a little more, you know, say, uh, adamant or harsh to, to tell your customers, Hey, you need to pay me. Okay. So click. Okay. So again, you can add reminders. Uh, you can do another one here that says two days before again, change the language if you want to. Okay. So now we've got these payment reminders set up. And, uh, now QuickBooks, what it's going to do, we're going to save this. And if I go up here, I go to customers, I go to payment reminders. So you can review and send payment reminders. Okay. Now it's just pulling up this one reminder here in the sample company file. Okay. And you can send this now. 
click close. Uh, I want to go back to my payment reminders, schedule payment reminders. Okay, so in this schedule here, so we've got these set up here, the one day after, five day after, five day before, two days before. You can delete these, you can do new schedules, you can add reminders. Okay, so you do have some flexibility here. Now, what's going to happen is QuickBooks will not automatically send these. Okay. QuickBooks will, uh, when these invoices are ready to send or these reminders are ready to send, QuickBooks will give you a prompt when you log into QuickBooks and it'll say, hey, you have reminders to send based on your schedule, okay? And you have the option at that point, you can, you can close that prompt and it won't send them. Uh, you can say send now and it'll just send them all uh, or you can review and send so you can actually uh, take a look at which ones it has automatically created. You can tell it which ones to send and then send just those. Okay, so when it, when I said before that it's not completely automatic, you know, you do have that step where you can review them, which is a good thing because uh, sometimes there, you know, you may have just talked to a customer the day before and they said, hey, I'm going to be a couple days late and then a reminder pops up. And if you send that reminder to them, eh, you know, it can irritate some of your customers. So, so that's a good thing you have some control over when that is sent, okay? So uh, hopefully this video helped, gives you a little bit more of a deep dive into these payment reminders. Again, I think this is a great feature in QuickBooks 2020. Any questions, any comments whatsoever, um, you know, feel free to leave those below. Also head over to the QuickBooks University where I teach you all about QuickBooks. With the tutorials, you become a member and I will answer your personal QuickBooks questions. The website is qbuniversity.org.